massive. So, there's been a shit tsunami about this girl called Nicole Arbor. Actually, if I'm going to respond to Nicole Arbor, my video should look like this. So, Nicole, you're going to demean and make fun of fat people. Let's see what, what, what the audience thinks about that, shall we? Eh, wrong. So, you want to make fun of fat people when you don't know the psychological or the emotional needs that a lot of people who have fat or uh, have been fat in the past, have to deal with on a daily or even an hourly basis. How they fill in that need with indeed chocolate and other things because again it, it makes them feel better and people like you aren't making them lose weight, you're making them actually help it hindering their problem which again they have recognised themselves and actually need support and actually encouragement for people around them to to continue to do, do, lose the weight and indeed live healthier lifestyles. Like, Oh my god, I've got a big chest, so they, therefore you could, you got to make fun of me. Oh dear, I've got no brain, but I, I think I can make fun of it somewhere. Oh, can I get... Uh, oh, um, by the way, I'm sure, I'm sure a lot of women uh, who actually like the larger gap men are, are just loving the fact that you're making them look bad by association. I'm sure the, the, the women of the world who actually like a little bit more push their a gut in a guy and like a bit of a large guy... And even the women who shock and shock might find guys who are fat att attractive. Oh no! What would a thing rank like you do about that? You'd have to go on a diet that actually puts on weight on your bones. But of course, we don't want to deal with that that fat deal, do we? Um, the fact that, that again, people could say things about you because you're thin. Could say, well, what diet are you on? The four salaries a day diet, you know, and stuff like that. You know, make, make fun about, you know, your, a colossal thing about your know, people not having enough weight. On them, which, again, is just as much of a weight problem as people who are overweight. But again, they're not going to say that because, again, you have the right to decide what size you want to be. They have the right to decide what size they want to be. And I think Jim Greek and Richard Dick Coughlin and Shaw Hairpin and everyone else who's responded to you has made this point abundantly clear, fat people are not always fat people by choice. You know, sometimes it's a glandular thing. Maybe I'm just, I'm just spitballing it. Maybe, you know, speaking for you shouldn't most people in the world. Again, there are guys who like fat women. Big, beautiful women is just, isn't just a thing because, you know, there's a kink for everything. No, it's a thing because, again, there are men out there who like the larger lady. I like any lady. Again, I'm, size doesn't bother me. It's the personality of the person that that bothers me. And that's the reason why you can look the way you want, but to me you look like this. Oh my god, my god, this guy said a little deal for man. Yeah, to me you do. And to any, any man who has a, a sense of morality, you do. Because again, the vacuous, dinty, no nothing blondes compared to intelligent, larger ladies. To me, there is no comparison. They're more beautiful than you. I hope, for the sake of our species, a lot of, a lot of other men agree with me. Ta-ta.